was the dog that if you follow our social media, we posted a video on um, Instagram and Facebook just showing what he was like at intake. All right. So Louis is a dog who has some very extreme separation anxiety. He is on two different anti-anxiety medications that were prescribed by his veterinarian. And even while on those two anti-anxiety medications, he has still had some very serious um, episodes of separation anxiety, including busting out of a very strong welded wire kennel. So now, since we had that video, we got to see what he was like at intake. Now we can start working on how do we change Louis' separation anxiety and teach him to be more calm and comfortable, both in a kennel, something that we need to do to work on this behavior, as well as just when he is alone or away from humans. So we're starting that with some crate games. You can see that Louis has already had a little bit of practice before I started the video rolling. I did it a little bit earlier in the day because he needs lots and lots of repetition to be successful. Louis is an excellent student. He's already figured out that if he goes in this area and stays in it, that rewards are gonna be coming. That's a really important part of this game is showing Louis, not forcing him, not even commanding him, letting him figure out all by himself that going into this area is a really positive thing. We call it in the dog training community, counter conditioning. And what it means in the simplest form is taking something that was a negative, being alone, being in a kennel, and changing it to being a positive. When you have a very food motivated dog, like Louis is, you can use high value treats to accomplish that. So if you were watching, you notice that without cueing him, he wandered off and was distracted, and I placed several high-value treats in there for Louis to self-discover. I didn't notify him that they were there. I want him to just start associating that every time he goes into this space, there's something really yummy and valuable for him. So that they can change about how he feels about going into that space. So once again, he wanders off. I'm gonna drop some back there. I'm just gonna wait for him to discover all by himself that there's really tasty snacks that are in there. He's no dummy. He's discovered that I am in possession of a bunch of those. But there he goes, back to fit, remembering, oh yeah, if I go in here, I get really yummy stuff. So this is one technique that we use, and we use lots of different techniques to reach our goals with a dog like Louie. But I'm gonna share another one. So this was the counter conditioning technique. I'm also going to be using something that we call desensitization. Desensitization simply means working gradually underneath the level that causes him to panic or feel anxious. So I'm gonna give you an example. Most dogs like Louie would feel anxious watching things happen that would lead up to me leaving him in this space. So here's the perfect opportunity to practice. I'm gonna to touch the door, I'm gonna give him treats. Because what does touching the door typically mean to a dog? When do we touch the door? We touch the door when we're gonna close them into that kennel, right? So a lot of dogs, that's where they will start to panic. It's like, oh no, she's touching the door. I better start to worry. So I'm changing that association as I do this 100 times a day. No, for real, I'll do it 100 times a day. Louie's association is starting to become, oh, touching the door doesn't mean anything. And when I add in the counter conditioning, touching the door now not only doesn't mean he's gonna get closed in 99% of the time, it also signals the counter condition. More reward is coming. He's gonna get high value treats. As he gets comfortable with that, now you'll notice that I'm starting to swing the door closed. Again, I'm changing his expectation of what will happen. Before coming here, somebody touching and closing the door meant that he was gonna get closed in here. Now, it doesn't mean he's gonna get closed in here, and instead it signals that probably a bunch of treats are coming. That's really valuable for a dog like Louie and starts to change his viewpoint and reduce his anxiety. Because Louie's doing so well with this, now I can work on closing the door the majority of the way. I don't force him to stay in, right? This is all about changing his viewpoint, not just what his body does, or what his mind thinks is gonna happen. 
That's what's most important to me. Sure, I can force him in there, but that's not going to change how he feels about being in that situation. Fortunately, he's a very food motivated dog. So that really helps us in this situation. We do have techniques to help with dogs who are not food motivated, but since he is food motivated, we're going to use that. So we're going to see on this video if we can build up to me closing the door all the way. Something that is of course a big trigger for a dog like him. I think there's some peanut butter remnants he's getting. You want to make sure, even if your dog is really food motivated, that you used your highest value treats in this kind of situation. We really want to have the opportunity to make this a very strong, positive experience. And you don't want to rush it. Very important that you don't rush to get results. We want the dog to ultimately feel very comfortable. And so having time just for some extra repetition, making sure that they feel relaxed and comfortable, really important. All right, we're going to try closing it all the way. Very nice. Look how great he did. And part of the reason that he's doing so well with that is because we've taken this time to build up. His expectation is now different. He's not going to be closed in there. In fact, you can see that he's pretty darn relaxed about the situation. Mm -hmm, delicious. There's so much yummy stuff. Not even phased. He's busy getting all the crumbs out of the corners. Very nice. So if you have a dog who has separation anxiety, this is a great place to start. Get your dog's very favorite treats and start playing these kind of games with them so that they can start to change what going into their kennel means. We're going to keep sharing a bunch of Louie videos so that you guys can learn as we work with this big handsome guy. Until our next video, happy training.